had the serial numbers filed off. Go to the communications department. Well, we made it to parakinesiology, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, the back that's in the, uh, uh, the executive suite. Yeah. Oh, we've got more to explore around here, don't we? Yeah, we, 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 we kept running until we got to here. And that was a week ago. Um, Any on the table? Oh, yes. Astral exhibition. Ah. Processes and best practices, astral plane exhibition. The astral exhibition was originally built for the astral noughts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Redacted was being stingy with the budget. However, oh. once we discovered the Redacted, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the Redacted's behaviour in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far it just breaks everything we put in with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to file 319-3811 for full report. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. All oh, right. That's what the redacted said. Uh, oh. Uh, multimedia. Unread. Astral Plane. All right. Yes. Okay, well, that's amazing. Hello, Alan Wake, but not Alan the Wake. The Astral Plane. Mm. Similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid. The board, all linked. Intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. He's quite happy with that, isn't he? <laughs> it's nice hearing Alan Wake's voice again. Yeah. Uh, unread. His sniper. Bureau oh, snipers specializing in eliminating threats from a distance using the telltale searchlights affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. The corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from the target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat, and the his snipers are well aware of how to use it. Oh, right. Prefer to file redacted for full report. So for long distance stuff, you've got to throw things at that's the best way of dealing with those. Old Boys Club. Pope informs Jesse that Marshall went to the research sector to create more HRAs. Jesse believes Marshall may know more about Dylan. And a bunch of side missions. Executive go to the communications department. Right, we were wandering around. Uh, or Floaty orb. Oh, floaty people. It's an orb in a nondescript thing. Is this? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place. Not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then, one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, There's always in the distance, horror. and yet yeah. contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. 
Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Oh dear. That's a nasty one there. Brain ones. Yeah. They keep that thing here. Oh dear, it's yes. Do I We gotta go and put that down then, have we? I don't know. We've got some random mission that I'm not interested in doing. We're just exploring. Probably shouldn't have come here. Ah, there's a thing that will stick out of the top now. background and down. I think. Yeah, you have to catch it in there. I gotta get it to follow you. the executive hiss notes that I wasn't interested in doing so that's good well there was a little door at the far end of that I don't know if we were trying to lure that thing in yeah I think you shut the door on, uh, shut the door on it well I I had one door shut I just didn't have the other door shut but it wasn't yeah. shutting not quick enough no it wasn't shutting it's down here right? An early hypothesis was that this is a problem when you've not been playing for a while. Yeah. That door opens. Might be why the thing works. It's up to it, eh? Yeah, you have to boot that. Okay, I see. Go through the um, boot the door. Close this door. Well, leg it up there. And boot it. Oh, I got stuck. Down 
thing to beat that door. You going down? He's in there. What was the bureau doing with that thing? I don't know, but it really hurt. <sighs> We've got like no health now. So anyway, there was a box, was it there? Yeah. You launched it. No, it's over there. I didn't launch the box at all. I didn't throw the box at all. So oh. I couldn't get to it. There it is. Uh, you have to climb over. Astral blip. Ooh. Okay, and then this door opens, which lets us out. Someone answer, damn it! We need backup down here. Okay. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Parapsychology, hypnosis lab, extrasensory lab. Parapsychology was where he was, wasn't it? Oh, that's the super no. His clusters heal other enemies, destroy them to make the fight easier. ran in behind them. Yeah, yeah I'm not ah. running through. Yeah, there's that there. So that's what? They're all the way over there, right on that balcony. Yeah. I'm not going over there, because we've got no health. We could get health by picking up that health down there. Yeah. we just got a checkpoint. So we run. Snag the health like this. No, they're up there. There's any more nodes in there, we gotta kill those as well. because we can snag this and then we can explore. might want to go to the hypnosis lab or the extrasensory lab. We came from the astral expedition. We want to look around first because we weren't really exploring this. We were fighting a quite a tough gunfight. But only because we had fuck all health because we had to trap that other thing. Yeah. So. So 
got the health back up, don't you? Know? Yeah, I know. I'm looking for. Well, I'm looking for this. Recording chair procedures. Uh, before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. One, ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in uh. the chair. Two, ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the record process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes muscle spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. Three, check if the volunteer is comfortable. Four, activate the recording apparatus. Five, after recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Reminder, do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. If any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. Okay, so they've been sending people in there, almost, just to see what's going on, haven't they? His cluster. That's what we had in there. His clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters yeah. are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. Yeah. The fact that the his makes an effort to preserve its corrupted host underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Yeah. I prefer to file redacted before the No, call. we're not going for capturing alive. We're going for uh, termination. Speak with Marshall on the intercom next to the elevator. I will. I'm exploring first. We were heading towards parapsychology this morning. We're heading to the hypnosis lab because we're cool. Ah, right. Ah, they've all been hypnotised. That's why it's called the hypnosis lab, I suppose. So at least they're not active. A captive audience. Hold G to activate. Investigate the X-ray light box of object power. <laughs> Newton's balls. Control unit. Ah, so you've got to actually put a... Wait, that fills in a thing. Oh, it doesn't reset either. In the outside. Yeah, I fucked it up though, didn't I? I'm filling the whole square, I think. Well, oh, can you not reset it? What about? You get those two lines. <laughs> I couldn't tell you even. Uh, <laughs> Fuck that. You, you didn't. You didn't. Uh, you didn't. Uh, what, that's, that's why I said shush, 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 shush. I saw the pattern. I didn't there's see a, a pattern. There's a literal. There. Where? You see? That. Oh, that pattern over there. there, that there. Oh, I didn't but see that there. Trying to form it. That's the pattern you've got to form, which is a three dimensional cube. Yes, but. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there, mesmerized by it. Hopefully these are good chaps, not bad chaps. Well, we live in oak. And they're all printing out the cube. Shatter projectile choke. Oh, that would be good. A shotgun choke. Okay. Well, this is probably going to go bad when they all wake up. Please state your name for the record. 
Paul Warren, astronaut, first class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal <laughs> entanglement, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, a.k.a. the X-ray light box, is purely voluntary? Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Is Mr. Warren still in there, do you think? Probably. There's the light box, but they're all hypnotized. Uh, they haven't got the uh, controllers on them, so they will go bad. He has, but it's too late. Mm -hmm. I wanna, can I zoom in and see? I, I wanna see, yeah. He hasn't got a HR thingy yeah, on. The resonance thing. Yeah. That's creepy as fuck. <laughs> they've but all been they've been staring in the Asin MBC suit. Uh, they actually look like the suits from they look like the time suits from Quantum Break. Don't they? Yeah. Remember they had to wear the special time field suits. Yeah. Okay, let's boop the patient, MK, date 20th of the 11th, 1974. It gets blurry when we look at it. St. Anne's Hospital, ET60, oh. Whoever they were, when they got x-rayed, it did weird things to this uh, x-ray machine. It did. Let's bind it. How will we get ah, from this? Might, might get floaty one this time. Use C's to complete the astral plane C's. challenge. Seeds. Well, we've got enemies. Golden copy NPC variation. Alright. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Find another way to defeat it. Nope. Enemies at low health are going to be seized. Oh, you work for me now. Ah. So yeah. we can't hurt this guy. But these guys can. You get your own army. Kill them. The gold one, right? Probably just about a quarter, aren't you? He's nearly dead. Yeah. Good work, slash planning to correct her. You've been approved, the X ray now bound, validated. We did it. We did it. So if you get someone's health down low, you can mind control them into attacking. The same as you. Obtain the seize ability. In we want the floaty ability though. Well, that's not the one we got. I know. Oh, everyone's dead now. They're all dead, though. They're all dead, though. Are they dead, dead? You Their brains were fried when I took over the object. Yeah, they're dead. Well, you killed them. I'm sorry. I mean, it was going to end badly for you either way. Yeah, you were happy. Oh, parapsychology. Yeah, we've got to speak to Marshall on the intercom next yeah. to the elevator. I've already forgotten the button for C's. F. It's up there. It's where we came from. I just realised that's a brain that's been sliced and diced. Yes. Stuck over here. Box. Oh. File over there. Oh. Intrusive pattern. 
groupthink. Utilization of paranatural elements, re thinking, groupthink. Summary, this study extends the works of Irving Janis, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong, casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. The experiments redacted the details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviours by engaging in redacted. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionise decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of redacted and redacted. Oh. Refer to file 3-18-2849 for full report. This is a nice place to work, isn't it? If you want to be experimented on with your head. <laughs> oh, processes and best practices for the astronaut. Program. This report serves as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box. See case file OOP18 for details in the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. Psycho dives. Um, uh, so, Psycho Diver Soul Siren Anime from the 90s right. Back when anime was super edgy uh, After each dive Astronauts must undergo a redacted session In the cognitive recording chairs To record their experiences in the plane Gathered data has conclusively proven That redacted within the astral plane Vary wildly between astronauts On rare occasions these dives can result in losses Often occurring when teams encounter Aggressive astral entities Refer to file 829 yeah. One eight three eight four full report. Well, just you know, you're out there looking for things. So, X-ray light box OOP eighteen PE containment procedure. No unique procedures needed. Description: para utility. Object is a light box used to examine X-ray images. The image cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belongs to a patient named. Well, we already saw his name, but it redacted. Yeah. The object allows para utilitarians to forcibly seize an individual's redacted. The seized individual becomes redacted to the user. The effect lasts redacted. Once released, the seized redacted as a result of the psychic trauma. The object has no current binder. Background. A janitor named Redacted found the object at St. Anne's Hospital in Redacted. Soon the building's occupants were redacted by him. The Bureau dispatched an emergency response team to Redacted, Redacted, the perpetrator, and Redacted, the item. Fatalities numbered in the redacted. For operational details, see case 26 HQ. Oh, All right, messy. Very, very messy. It's, it's concerning. You can go here, though. Abilities. We've got four, so we can... Ah, see, plus 5% to seize duration. Yeah, so we've actually now got all the abilities that you can get, so you've just got to work your way down the list. Yeah, I don't think we need to spend anything yet. Well, I don't want some C's. I mean, no, all that does is make it last longer. Yeah, well, it might be handy in a battle. I'd rather have more health, to be honest, or more energy. 20% to energy. Okay. Um, just because the energy is what powers our powers, isn't it? Yeah. Not the... Uh, not the uh, ability I wanted. No, we like the floaty one. Construct Pierce. We need lots of source and we need one more astral blip. Okay. Well, that's so not bad. Got whatever that is. Bag. Pierce is precise, a charged shot that penetrates armor and enemies at any range. So that's your. That's a good one. That is actually. That's kind of what I want. Oh. Right, so we need to head to the elevator, which is here, and boop it a beep. Boop. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. Hmm. More of you? That was a bunch of the suicide bombers. I should have tried to seize one of them and make them get each other, but... Yeah. Oof, that was a lot of Quick. the suicide bombers very quickly. 
Yeah. Very quick, that was. The shift is useful both in and out of combat. Let's get where you're going quickly. Also help avoid of enemy enemy projectiles. Yeah, do you know what helps avoid even better? What's that? That means we've got to go back to the elevator and do that again. Yeah, that's about the elevator's just down here. So. I wasn't expecting to get gang rushed there. Marshal. Yes, I can hit. I'm coming. We need it. Space got bar, space bar. More of that you. Really? I thought it was that. down so damn low. Yeah. You have to get the health down so damn low. Yeah, that they're almost doing it. It was almost not worth it. <laughs> but yeah. That okay. was that was a test to see if you Remember how to do it. Do you remember how to hold Trench said his team knows all the Bureau's secrets. Marshall, especially. Does she know what happened to Dylan? I don't even know what happened to Dylan. I'm hoping Why? we'll find out at some point. Dylan was sent to try and be one of the uh, friend or foe. What brand are they? Pain elevators. Okay, luck and probability. Marshall is right down the hall. Yeah, keep your little suit on. Luck and probability, ritual diversion, synchronicity lab, protective studies. <laughs> they come up with some good names, don't they? Yeah. You think about it, this is just the, the agency from Quantum Break, but, you know, with the serial numbers piled up. Oh, Dead guy in the toilet, rubber duck supplement. Oh. Rubber duck, A152AE, <coughs> discovered in the home of Agent Redacted after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck. According to Agent Redacted, the matter was ignored, believed to be the result of a child's imagination, until he began to hear the quacking at night. After discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the Bureau for study. Update. It was discovered that Agent Redacted was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent Redacted has been terminated. Oops. I take it he got the sack then. I take it he was... Killed. Marshall is waiting for you in the luck lab, just down the hall. Yeah, the luck yeah, lab. Because luck is something you can study. Yeah. Maybe if we have luck, we'll be able to solve that ashtray maze. God, that's fucking creepy. Another. That's travel point. Travel. Excellent. Right. I assume we're going to be running between all the labs as we lock in probability. You guys look tired. What's this? We could take a flower, put it back in. Why? Oh, it's a four-leaf clover. I see. For luck. For good luck. There you are. I was yeah. starting to worry. There I am. Oh, there's a horseshoe. Yeah. Oh, you tipped it all out there. Old wives' tales. Oh, no, That'll drive you guys mad. Okay, hello, Ms. Marshall. Yeah. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Good. Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're going to survive this attack. 
My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. I like her already. Yeah. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Probably. Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. Ooh, another key we'll talk power. more after you clear out the hiss. Yeah. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Now that's cool. Yeah. Go back outside and save it. Lay out of this place almost as right today. Yeah, that was my, my intention. Unless there's a forward countermeasure here. No. Oh. We don't have Pierce. We don't have Pierce. No. Or, I mean, we could technically build some. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're nearly there. We've got 8 of 8 now. Um, 8 of 8 flip. What we short on? I don't know. Shatter, spin. We have shatter, spin and grip. Anyway, we're going to end it here. Because we've only got 5 minutes left. 